Hey, welcome back to the morning show. Time now for our Wise Guy segment. Our main man, our physics professor from the U of I, Matt Sellin, is here. And you're getting explosive today, Matt? Yeah, a little bit. All right. I know I can't do things as smart as Bill does, so I just have to make things that are on fire instead. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, I can understand. Yeah. I can relate to that. Well, actually, it's, it's, a, it's a serious issue in a way because you have uh, things that burn that you wouldn't think that would burn. For example, mm -hmm. uh, Coal, you know, burns, but it doesn't explode. But if you have dust from coal, that can explode. And there are tragic accidents all the time in mines sure. where coal dust explodes. Same thing happens in, in uh, elevators, grain elevators, mm -hmm. where you have grain dust, and that kind of stuff will blow up. And, uh, and although grain, of course, doesn't burn that well all by itself, and the reason for this is simply that if you get something ground up small enough so it's fine enough particles, it burns really good. So I'm going to start by just having a little, uh, little explosion here. So I'm going to send it over towards you, Bill. So what I get, I have a little bit of very fine powder in the bottom of this tube, okay. and I just have a lighter, and I'm just going to light the lighter and then blow the powder out of the tube and see what happens. All right. All right. And it, kids don't try this at home. No, no, I never tried this at home. No. Just, I went to a lot of years of school, so I could do this. That's safe. right. Okay. So here we go. Wow. Okay. I hope you guys don't have a like a smoke alarm right up there because no, control. If you do, you hear it. Right. It's okay. So now you did see that the flame go flying out of this thing. Right. And the stuff that I actually blew out of this was this very fine grain powder. Mm. Uh, it, it's interesting stuff. It's called lycopodium. It's uh, it's a, it's a mold spores from mm -hmm. uh, or from moss, mossy spores. Sure. And people use it for this sort of thing for special effects, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And uh, but there's a lot of things that that you can grind up fine that burn. Um, sugar burns pretty good. Uh, Cornstarch. Well, actually, let me just first of all let me demonstrate that this stuff doesn't burn at all. If I just put some in a plate. Mm -hmm. And if I put my lighter to it, well, okay, there we go. Just kind of see. It's singed, but then once, once the, that was the dust that was coming off it. Once it's down there, it's not flammable at all. So actually, the, the reason people like to use stuff like this for special effects is that it's pretty safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, but you can actually do this too with something else like cornstarch, which is very finely ground. If you rub cornstarch between your fingers, it's almost like a liquid. But it is a, it's just a, a, a solid powder stuff. Right? Okay. So I'm going to do the same experiment here with them. All right. Let's go in right at that camera right, right there. That so camera right come there. in the living rooms of the folks at home. Okay. All right. So hopefully it's not going to go right on the lid. No, if it does, okay. we'll clean it. There you go. Okay. Now that didn't burn quite as good. So mm -hmm. You can still see a little mist left over in the air, but it, it was not yeah. bad at all. That was pretty okay. good. Okay. And when we come back, what I'm going to do is I actually, this is an excuse to do a little math. Yes. So I have a little blackboard or whiteboard with me, and mm -hmm. we're going to actually work out uh, how this works and why this works. It has to do with surface area, and it turns out that for something that's very finely ground, mm -hmm. like cornstarch, the surface area of just a teaspoon of that stuff is about the size of the, the floor area of this room. Really? Yeah, and we can work that out. It's very easy to show the, that math. Wow. Automatically, so we'll do that one. All right. Speaking of showing stuff, we got a freeze of your last uh, when oh. you blew it up. Look at that right there. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> see, that's yeah, it's a pretty good flame. For yeah. If you Google this the stuff, dust. and you can see it, you see the dust come out first, and then it sort of ignites later on. Uh -huh. So it doesn't come out. It doesn't flash back. I can and see a little bit of it coming over your hands there. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's that's the reason I wasn't too worried though is that the hunks of it doesn't don't burn at all. It's mm -hmm. only when it's mixed with air and when it's being blown out that it's going to go poof like that. Oh, okay. So that's that's why it's a very well relatively safe way to do special effects. Sure. It's never safe to do at home if you're right. a kid, of course. And kids home spring yes. break watching. Don't don't try this home again. You're yeah. a trained professional. Never try this.